Uh, it was a lot of both. Um, they, we know they're, they're a high volume, high efficiency three point shooting team. Um, you know, you turn the ball over, it feels their break. They were able to, to get out. Uh, got some easy ones in transition. Uh, it also led to a lot of the points in the, in the, in the paint. Um, the one on one, you know, Tatum and Brown combined for four of them. So those two guys were not the issue from three. You know, uh, Neesmith hit a few late, Grant Williams, Pritchard. Um, those guys would play with a level of comfort that, you know, we talked about taking, you know, away from Tatum and Brown. So, you know, across the board, you, you could say early start, this, that, and the other. It was an early start for them, and, and they were ready to go. Uh, we just didn't have the same level of intensity or focus uh, from the beginning. Um, obviously able to make a, a ball game in the first half, solid second quarter, cut the deficit to 11, um, then 9 will run to start the third, and now, you, now you're just, you know, sledding uphill. So. Um, a lot of it's preventable, um, but there are a lot of areas we uh, we got outperformed in. Those kind of preventable things at the start of the third, did they come out doing something, or did the focus come out kind of being in the off part? No, it, it was just a lot of the similar things. You know, once again, the turnovers, you know, crushed us. Every time we turned over, they scored. Um, I think, you know, 10 turnovers, 21 points. So the, those plays and broken possessions, and we knew from the beginning, uh, their defensive intensity um, was going to be an issue. Their switching potentially was an issue. Um, and, you know, they, they beat us up. So it, it's one of those things that we weren't ready to you know, mix it up with the, the, the style of play that we were about to see this afternoon. Yeah. 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 How much of that was an elite defense? It's a little bit of both. I mean, and, and that's the, the fear with the switching is that's what they force you into. You know, they, they're number one at, you know, opponent assist per game for a reason. They're going to make you play one on one, which if you can't go by, you know, your individual matchup, it's going to lend to some of that. Um, so you, you're mindful of that and you can't fall into it. You know, finding that X action, keeping energy in the ball is, is part of, you know, why we've had success, you know, and switching and their level of physicality took us, took us out of it. Uh, just that, you know, we, we didn't come with the same mindset. We weren't ready to play. Um, you know, we're not going to let it linger. Uh, we have to learn from it. And obviously, we've got to be better. But, you know, you have a handful of games left. It's We're not letting go of the rope and saying, all right, well, so, so be it. We still want to make sure we're getting something out of these last few games. Because it's it's important step for us, important step for our guys, um, and we, we can't change our approach, regardless of what the situation is or who's on the floor. We got to come out and be ready to play. It's a valuable lesson for all of us. I mean, sure, you know, you can take a lot from it. Um, they're, they're playing at an elite level for a reason. And yes, they have, you know, dynamic offensive players who have kind of, you know, come on their back and they're, and they're playing at a high level. But defensively, they don't take possessions off. They don't have miscommunications or lapses. Uh, if they do, they're, they're minimal. Um, so we, we can grow in those areas and, and, and see, hey, teams take us out of, you know, what we try to do. Uh, we can learn from that. Let's be more more aggressive. Let's not let teams play with a level of comfort uh, and make them work and out execute us. All right, we're going to chase. Wes, uh, scoreless game for Rui Hachimura. What contributed to an off day for him? Well, a number of things. Um, I think, you know, the switching bothered him a bit. Um, you know, it's he didn't seem to have the same level of pop or energy uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but he wasn't alone in that. I thought a lot, uh, several of our guys um, didn't have that mindset to start the game. And, and it's tough to, you know, kind of ease into a game and think you're going to get yourself going against one of the hottest, you know, teams in the league. Uh, so just having that mindset of, uh, you know, hit first mentality on offense and defense, we were playing on our heels quite a bit today. Neil. Hey, Coach. For Denny, it seems like he oftentimes gets – an unfavorable whistle, I guess. Is there anything that he can do to just whatever it is? It seemed like the third foul that he got in the first half, there was very minimal contact. Is there anything that you think that you guys can teach him to do to maybe not put himself in that situation as much? 
a lot of it is, you know, the technique. Uh, you just got to be real clean with the technique. If we're going to put you on marquee matchups, um, you know, you're probably under heightened scrutiny and every time you defend those guys. So having done it the bulk of the season, you, you should be aware that uh, you've got to be really clean um, and, and you got to be smart. You know, don't, don't fall for, you know, some of the tricks of the trade. Guys understanding the KYP, um, the, the certain guys are going to try and get you lean or get you reaching, get your hands over the ball. Um, and that just really is uh, the next step. You know, of course, he can be an elite defender. I really believe that. But being able to, to defend without fouling is, is crucial. Um, I would say um, overall problem was just um, transition um, and guarding without fouling. Uh, we, we fouled a lot. Um, they got a lot in transition, a lot of open threes. Um, I guess it was their night tonight. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like they missed a shot from three. Uh, the way they were shooting tonight. Did it, in the past games, um, we started off slow, and uh, again, uh, and again, they they started off hot. So, um, we knew uh, coming into the, the game, you know, it was an early game. We needed the energy. Uh, everybody just, just to stay together. Um, first quarter, you know, we didn't we didn't see any of that um, as far as uh, from from our players. Um, but it started to pick up, you know, towards the end of the uh, first and second um, in the first half. I feel like. Um, I feel like you know, most of the shots that they made, you know, we had great contests. You know, uh, some of them was tough shots they made. Um, just, just feel like they they were just knocking them down. You know, this was a big basket out there for them tonight. Um, and I just feel like we didn't. Uh, as, as a team, we didn't pressure them a lot. Um, what the the recording way. has. Um, uh, I feel like they just they just dominated the whole game, you know. Uh, it was a lot. It kind of gave us a little problems uh, where we found ourselves uh, stagnant and not moving the ball. Um, and what we couldn't like, we couldn't get a shot or drive to the basket unless it was a, you know, a long two or a three pointer. Um, and they played great defense uh, within the half court and forced us to do uh, things that are outside of our norm. Chase. Um, on a related note, you know, they have the number one ranked defense in the NBA. What makes them so good on that end of the floor? Um, I would say they I mean, they switch one through five, you know, but the aggressiveness that they, when they do it, um, it's just seem like, you know, you have no opening out there or, or you got to try to force something. You know, they, they switch real well. You know, they, they plug into the gaps. They help a lot. Uh, so they help out each other. So, you know, they, they defense. It's pretty strong. Was it you guys coming out with a little bit of lack of energy, or was it Jalen coming out and hitting those free free throws? Both. <laughs> when you mix those two concoctions together, you get 144 to 103. Uh, and uh, yeah, that part, like that's, you know, that's, they, they came out, they, they've been playing the best. Um, I know Robert Williams is down. And uh, I think since he's been down, they've only lost, well, I think, one game, I want to say. Um, that train has continued to move. They, they playing well. And once they, he gets back, he's just going to, you know, chip on in and, and keep it going. But but I tell you this, um, they've been playing the best out of any, anybody in the NBA since January 1st. So I think we knew what we had to do, um, uh, the intensity. Um, but until you go through it, I don't think you really know. And so I think we got hit. Um, and we 
was just playing catch up the whole game. And uh, I really think for us to look at the score and be down 11 at halftime was very fortunate. But, you know, how you start the third quarter, and they came out, hit us with another 9 on run. And, and after that, um, you know, the house was on fire. I was going to ask you about the third quarter, but is whatever preventing the reset there, is that you guys have done four boards in that right hand? Yeah, so I'm weird. Like when I look at the score, I always look at I count in my head. Like I do, I'm like, all right, we're down 20. Okay, if I get this shot, this shot, this shot, get him a shot, then get a stop. And like I'm literally playing, I'm doing freaking calculus in my head. Bless you. Literally, <laughs> literally doing calculus in, in my head. Like, okay. So I never like look at the score. I've been a part of games where we've been down a, you know, a lot. And came back, and then I've been a part of uh, games where we've been up a lot, came back, I mean, and, and lost that lead. So, uh, for me, I, I just kind of look at, you know, how we can kind of put a dent in it. But I just think they were just in such a great rhythm. We just couldn't couldn't slow it down on that. That's what they said? Oh, really? That's what? Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know. I'd just be hoping. You know what? Like, I heard somebody say that about Brooklyn. Then I heard somebody say something. Yeah, like, then I heard somebody else say that. Like, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, eventually you're going to have to say, this undrafted kid from Harrisburg, North Carolina, can just play. He's been on a lot of different teams, but the kid can play. And, and that's a blessing, honestly. Like, when you step out on the floor, I thank the Lord every day we get an opportunity to play this game, and I'm very anointed. And so, for me, it's an opportunity to, to go win a game with the team situation, team camaraderie. Uh, people don't understand, you know, a lot of guys, when they're done playing, that's the first thing that they think about. Like, man, I can be back in the locker room with the guys and different things like that. So, for me, anytime I can step on the floor and put my best foot forward, whether it's against Phoenix or whoever else, like, I'm going to try to do my best. And uh, But uh, I would, you know. We just try to contribute to the team. Compared to last year, oh man, uh, for real, like uh, I, I don't know. You know, for me, it's crazy. Like I feel like I'm aging backwards, which is a blessing. <laughs> uh, Benjamin Button, uh, you know. So, uh, but now I just I just play, and and like I said. Um, you know, some some things you can't kind of explain. You just go out there and play, and and allow the Lord to use you, and you go out there and put on put on you know the best show you can you know put on, um, trying to help your team win. I think a lot of times you don't know what you're doing out there, cause and when I say that I mean like you're just playing hard, and then you leave the game, and you're like, um, and then you know you get you know nice compliments, but I will take a win plus a compliment all day. <laughs> I'm more controlled with it. I, I will tell you that. You know, we were together in Orlando. Um, it's kind of like fast and furious, but kind of no control. And now it's a little bit more control to it. So, uh, um, you know, and then it helps when you can make shots. You know, you can be fast as you want to, but if you can't make shots, like people just gonna back up. And so it has helped that you know you continue to grow and develop. Um, you know, your shooting ability. Yeah, this is where you want to be at. That's a great question, Jay. Like, this is where you want to be at. Like, last year we were playing at this moment, playing for something. Um, the intensity when you're going into the playoffs, uh, and then once you get to the playoffs, you, as you know, you raise it to another level. But this is the time when you play. We're playing all playoff teams leading up, with an exception of New York. But everybody's trying to jockey for position. They're trying to, you know, win some games. And so um, we – for the young guys, as you know, this is the level they play with. You know, they came out with a certain level, and I'm sure you guys could feel it. They didn't care who they was playing tonight. They could have been playing the number one team or they could have been playing the last team. It didn't matter. They came out with a level of intensity, a level of focus, because they're trying to play for something bigger. And so when you step in these games, like the intensity is high, you know, as you know, and it, and it starts after All-Star break. Not saying that the intensity is not high all the way throughout the season, because it is, but then it goes up another level after All-Star break. Then it goes up towards the end of the year, another level. Then when you get in the playoffs, it goes up to another level. And so um, for us, we're, we're kind of feeling 
playoff basketball before we actually without experience. Man. Like I said, last year we went through it. You know, them, them games was high intensity. You're trying to get in. And, um, you know, fortunately we got in and, and, and you know, the rest was history. But, uh, you know, this is this is a time. I'll take a couple quick ones from Zoom. Neil. Hey, Ish. Um, you've been around Denny for a large portion of his NBA career so far. I guess, what are some of the aspects of his game that you've seen him make a jump? You know, today he had a couple nice lobs to Daniel. Yeah, you know what, Denny, man, this whole aspect of his game is going, like, shooting the crap out of the basketball. Um, he's really good at pick and rolls. Um, we put him in situations and, and then he can make plays. Uh, so he's just continued to grow. And as you know, as a young guy, you get confidence and his, his game is growing um, with each game, uh, with each opportunity. Uh, coach puts him in great opportunities. We try to put him as a point guard. I try to put him in great opportunities for him to be successful. Um, and then it's allowed me to play off the basketball and, and be a spot up shooter or to play off the catch. So uh, again, his game is growing. He's pushed it in the break a couple of times. Like, so, um, you know, we got a special player, you know, that, that's kind of growing, you know, in front of us. And uh, we just have to continue to hone that and, and lock in. And as you know, as a young person, um, you know, you can have these lapses, but for the most part, Denny's been been really good and he's been growing. Thanks, Ish. Safe travels. Oh, appreciate you. Oh, that's it? One more, one more, Ish. Okay. One more from Christos, and that's it. Uh, hey, Ish. Hope you're doing well. Christos, uh, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Great. Uh, speaking about the next season, where you would like to be next season as a team and those types of games, what kind of lesson are for you? Well, I like to be here. Um, so, Christos, uh, I got a team option. So, if you want to call Tommy and tell him. <laughs> um, and it's a lot of lessons, like I said, to be learned in these games during this time down the stretch. Um, I think the biggest thing is, is, like I told Josh, like it's a level of intensity you have to play with uh, when you're playing in these games. And I think that for us moving forward down the stretch these next four or five games, matching that intensity and then taking that into next season.